was a chief of staff. Mm. And sometimes I, now I, I'm scared of getting arrested. So I, I don't do things that can <laughs> I'm a easily... Poisier, so. no, <laughs> I don't do things that will easily get me arrested. So one of the, the risks of being a mayor is that you can get arrested. Mm. The other day I went to check uh, Hamas Kral water, the dam, the uh -huh. Lukral dam. Yeah. I find a spot, I take a location, I take a picture, I send to him, clear it. Two days later it was cleared. I've said, this is not how you deliver service to the people. Yeah. Because if the mayor hasn't asked for it, you won't do it. Huh. And that's where then you need to work on the system in a way that the legislation is quite clear. Mm. The planning must be comprehensive. You can't plan from a boardroom. So. The city starting in 2021 mm. has not been able to honor its debt towards ESCO. In reality, we actually don't have many powers as councillors. Mm. Uh, the powers are with the 23,000 odd officials. Yeah. In the VF plus uh, caucus, they've, many people are passionate about finances, okay. right? Then in the ANC, they will tell you about, you know, the, the social uh, infrastructure, how mm. social cohesion, so that's the language they would talk. Mm. Or DA would talk more on good governance. Mm. Like, yeah, but uh, let's root out corruption. Mm. Eh? Mm. Yeah, so, mm. so each caucus, like EFF will like, yeah, no, why are you privatizing? And, and, and we'll like, ah, gotcha. in-source, build internal capacity. Eh? So, so each and every... Uh, caucus in our council mm. has an identity of their own. King King David Studio Podcast. I have with me uh, the newly appointed, probably by the time you watch this, which could be a year from now, two years from now, she won't be newly appointed mayor of Tswani, but I hope by then she will still be mayor of Tswani. Uh, Dr. Nasipi Moya, how you doing, ma'am? I'm all right, David. Um, we are, uh, what do you say, surviving. Oh. Uh, <laughs> already, oh. already the new mayor is surviving. But listen, it's been a long year mm. and a lot happened in one year for me personally. And I wasn't planning any of this. So just dealing with all the changes, with all the responsibilities, yeah. but with a, a very excited heart, though. Are you not overwhelmed? No. And that's the most surprising thing about this. So in January, when I was elected deputy mayor, mm. remember, I was never a politician, never planned to be mm. a politician. January, it took me about three weeks to orientate myself. Yeah. This time around, um, second day, I was like, we're doing this. We are good. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say, tell you about human potential? Right. And, you know, and that's exactly what um, I've said to Michael, my, my political boss. Mm -hmm. I said to him, if it was in him, blackmailing me, pretty much saying, if you don't give me a candidate, you eat. Mm. in January. If that didn't happen, this wouldn't have happened. And because for me, I've boxed myself. I'm not a politician. I'm a governance person. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy where I am. I'm happy to support people who are politicians. And I don't think I've ever pushed myself to a point where I've thought this was possible. Mm. So yeah, human potential, man. And you just sometimes need those people to just push you sometimes yeah. when you don't do it for yourself. You need to dive. Head, head first. This one is literally head first. <laughs> <laughs> and with the legs yeah. up in the air. But but you know what? The, the, there was a bit of soul searching. I, I went home um, for a few days. Yes, you did. I did. Before, after. No, no. So, so just when we were approaching the motion. Yes, yes. We, yeah, so that weekend, the long weekend, ah. my sister was having her 40th birthday with the elders there, so yes. we went there. So when I was there, home grounds me. I had to think about this thing, like what's the worst that could happen? But also, <laughs> am I ready? I mean, what do I need to get ready? And I remember when I was driving back, I was like, listen, if this thing doesn't work, I'm good, man. I'll just resign and go back to what I need. <laughs> yeah, and at that time, I, I thought may, we may not even get the, the you know, if the DA and ANC work the, their relationship out, that it may not happen. Mm. Like, listen, God, I'm grateful for what you've given me. If it happens, I'm ready. If it doesn't happen, thank you for the show. So you didn't <laughs> yeah. go, you didn't, you didn't, in the big, you didn't go in there. I know I'm not saying with all your heart, mm. but accepting whatever that could happen. Listen, 
I was not in control of the process. So it was difficult for me to like even I I, I think for me, I the morning of the council meeting, yeah, where we were called around half past nine, nine like the media Remember. is there. Yes. And then they're like, Yeah, come here. I'm like, why? My leader is there. Funzi is there. Why do you need me? Like, you are a mayoral candidate. I'm like, oh, <laughs> let's go. Let's join. So we get there. I'm standing at the back. They're like, what's wrong with her? Bring her here. And we say, so I was like, oh, so this is happening. Oh, no. This is happening. And yeah, so, 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 but, but I think I was so exhausted as well at that mm. time. But wh- was, wh- why would you say that? Why, what, what, what led to the exhaustion? Um, I remember I've been the deputy mayor for nine months and because I was proving, you know, my worth to the party that they've not made a, a mistake, I've been taken leave. Mm. But now when the issue of the motion started, then the political infight and the mudslinging happened. I was emotionally drained. Hey. Remember, we are fighting on Twitter and we go to Mako. You have to look at each other in the eyes. I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> After that, mud slinging. That, uh, by the way, I wasn't participating in the mud slinging, yeah. but I caught smoke um, and maybe I enabled it on the other side. But um, so when it, when it comes to Mako, mm. I, I, I think there are three Makos where we're like, the last one, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. <sighs> you can tell. And, you know, now the fighting started with this MMC telling officials, don't give her this and, 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 and. Then it was starting to get ugly. Oh, no. And so so that's that's what led to the exhaustion. Yes. In the, I was emotionally drained. And you then start asking is this even worth it? Mm, you know, mm. is this even is this the best I can do to serve this country? Ay. I'm sure there are other better ways, guys. And so for me, when it was like, okay, it's not happening, <laughs> my sister was like, I am so sick and tired of you right now. Ay. Because for her, she was like, it would be sad that after all of this, right, it doesn't happen, mm, right? Mm. But uh, can you just stop being negative? Because she thought I was being negative when I said, listen, I'm not in control of this process. Not even my party is in control of it in a way because the the, the ANC has the majority. Mm. They've got a GNU partnership. Anything can happen in that space. Actually, and it's so, okay. More so, you were an unlikely candidate. I was an underdog, man. <laughs> um, listen. You were case achieves. I always throw that in where every chance I get. But can I be my melody sundowns sun now? Can I be a my melody sundowns now? Means. Thank you. But but the, uh, you know the underdog um, status. So you would read every article about the potential candidates. Mm. They wouldn't say anything and, about you. And even after Mr. Mashaba pronounced that he, that's the candidate they're taking to the negotiations, I think it's Ferial Hafaji yes. that then put me as number four. Mm. So it was Celia, it was um, Machila, it was, um, uh, what is the, Hoshi, my, mm, my mm. Epa. And then number four was this girl. And then she says, she's the most qualified for the job. <laughs> there you I, go. I, I, I was like, oh, okay, that, that's happening. And because everyone, and you can't blame them. And I keep saying to journalists, I don't tick the boxes you normally use to tick. That's true. I from a very different background in terms of class, in terms of everything. Yeah, and upbringing. so how I speak is very different from a seasoned, pol- I'm not a seasoned politician. Mm-hmm. So I'll start her when I talk to you because I'm not trained to speak no. like this, you know? Jeez. Yeah. So, and people were like, who is this girl? Where was she? What was she doing? And she was I- deputy mayor. <laughs> Right. And it's not that I wasn't working, by mm, the way. Mm. I was working every single day. But obviously, that position, you, if there's a mayor, you are likely to be uh, uh, overshadowed. overshadowed. Yeah, no, that's just the nature Clari- of Clarify mm. that role in a few seconds for us, the role of, of deputy mayor. And mm. the reason I ask mm. is because we dealt with a, a deputy president in this country mm. who, if you were not aware, you would think that the so-called uh, nine wasted years mm. that he labeled, by mm. the way, really? happened. Wasn't he the first to say that? Mm, yeah. yes. No, but I mean, for him as a deputy too. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> yes. I got confused when, when he, one, he labeled them the nine wasted years. Two, mm. when he speaks about them like he wasn't there. Mm. I, get, I get thrown off mm. in these mm. conversations. And, it, 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 and in answering that question, be aware that I'll be asking you about 
the water issues yes, and yes. all the other issues related yes. to the city of Tuan mm. and and the underlying uh, uh, you know uh, 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 groundwork of mm. our, of my questions mm. are but where were you exactly you get what i mean yes. no, no, I you get must you. have been in yeah, the yeah of course yes. of course so explain to us that yeah. the role so, of of a deputy mayor and also during a a um, a uh, DA leadership. Yes, Maybe yes. there's an interesting mm -hmm. dynamic yeah. there. So, so uh, the deputy mayor position in the legislation, the only provision there about a deputy mayor is that you act on behalf of the mayor in his absence. Whether it's short term, he's on leave, or that's what is in the legislation. And then it says any other responsibilities that the executive mayor will delegate to you. You're a soccer player who's mm -hmm. sitting, waiting yes. to be in case. In case. Yes, basically yeah. that's the deputy mayor okay. in terms of the legislation. Now, when we're negotiating, um, we then said, we are avoiding exactly that. Mm. Can we then agree uh, as the coalition to define the responsibilities that will be delegated to the executive mayor? So you're just not useless. Exactly. Yeah. Now, oh, remember, a deputy mayor position is a standalone. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have, you don't have to be an MMC to be an a deputy. You can be a deputy without a portfolio and just roam around and do nothing if you want. Wow. But we then, on, on our part, we negotiated to oversee the infrastructure departments, okay. that whole portfolio, as well as um, the day-to-day -day service delivery. Got right. You. So what it means is that we had to define it and, mm -hmm. and lock it in committees. There's a committee for infrastructure projects where you've got the, I think last time we had 184 capital projects. Mm -hmm. You make sure that they are implemented on time within the confines of that committee. Mm -hmm. Okay. You okay. can have oversight. That are, then there's the one where you then meet once a month, check the plans for service delivery. And of, so, so what I had was that I had a a deputy had a deputy. Mm. So I was deputized by DA MMC on both. Um, okay. The one MMC was deputizing me on the service delivery and one MMC was deputizing me on the infrastructure. Yeah. In addition to that, I had the, uh, the portfolio of community and social development. Loved it, by the way. Loved it. I saw videos of you uh, they're cleaning. We are cleaning. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, love I have it. Those videos. Love it. You know why? <laughs> That's where you meet human beings of Twane through that portfolio, whether it's the Magogos, whether it's the True. persons with disabilities, whether it's young people through sports, yeah. uh, arts, um, you know, the art fraternity, the sports fraternity. That's where you meet human beings, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. and, it's and, not and, a mechanical it's not job. Me which, yeah. is, which makes it difficult because if you underinvest in that portfolio, you disappoint human beings you've met. Yes. Anyway, so that, that, that was me, um, you know, in that portfolio. Mm -hmm. Now, you then ask, where were you? Mm. And first of all, our party was part of, of the coalition since 2021, right? Yeah. So it's not that we were new. I may have been joining in January uh, 2024, but my party had this relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if initially the relationship wasn't that great. Okay. Um, I, I think even at a national level, at the coalition management level, we've never had the previous mayor, the Randall, mm, come, mm. you know, to you know to, to just come and, like I did, um, the ANC <laughs> was uh, taking a walk and I had to you accept the mandate. No, <laughs> accept the mandate. <laughs> and so so things like that, he didn't entertain wow. any of those. So the relationship wasn't good. I and, think it played out more in Johannesburg, that relationship, the DA... HNSA relationship. Joe Beck uh, dynamic is different because there they are very vocal. Uh, Twane is very conservative when okay. it comes to the, if you're fighting, you're fighting here and then you go out, you do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And so, and so, and so we were part of it. So, and also we used to have a lot of complaints. This is not happening. But when we came in, there was a list of service delivery issues. Um, how Mashaba works is that we promise this community deliver. We promise this community yeah. deliver. Yeah. First one was the issue of Hamas Kral water. He said, go in there, fight for, for the people of Hamas Kral. There were um, uh, victims of flood uh, floods in Mamelodi. Yes, yes, where they were put in a, uh -huh. in a hall or a church uh -huh. or whatever. He said, go in, make sure those people are relocated out of, a wall, uh, out of the hall and they are moved elsewhere. Mm. There were issues... Um, uh, in Attridgeville, like, you know, and so we went in with a long list of service delivery that during the campaign, 
he encountered and they were infused in our mm -hmm. in our manifesto. Yeah, this is 2021. 2021. Yeah. And then um, we also had our own challenges within the party that the leaders that we started with, they started doing their own thing ah. that it, even our start was a bit delayed. So it's, I remember. It, oh, yeah, that was nasty. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that was nasty. Yes. Um, to a point where the, our caucus, I think, went through how many leaders? I'm the fifth one and I'm doing it for the second time. I'll wow. explain why. So we started with the mayoral candidate, the then um, Adau. Mm -hmm. We then moved to Kisinduth, um, the alderman that we had. I then came in as an administrator. That's how bad things were. Sure. And after stabilizing, then we it was Matabate. Then I'm back as a caucus leader. So just a, a us <sighs> as a caucus. But at the center of it was how do we define, as a new party, how do we define ourselves in government? When we are in that, do we have an identity that we can defend? Mm -hmm. And what is it? What is it about Action SA that, you know, stand up, like, yeah. you know, make Stands us stand? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and we thought it was clear if we were to just stick to our manifesto, right? Just do your work. Just do your work. <laughs> However, then we have issues like insourcing. You take insourcing to a DAVF plus scenario. Mm -hmm. You not he they won't hear you. Of course. And as a result, this didn't happen until I joined council, right? Even the discussions, I'm talking about basic, basic discussions about insourcing. Mm. And and then even us saying, take services to the people, mm. they just don't get it. And also th there were other issues, you know, that... Mm. Can you give us a sense of mm. why things that seem basic mm. to... Into Anna Semamelodi, who grew up there, and and service delivery issues are obvious. Like, mm. for example, when I open my tap, there's no water. Mm. It sounds like a, a very uncomplicated situation. Very, yeah. Why is it that, it, based on what you just said, in meetings like that, mm. those conversations become tricky? It's because of how people prioritize. Okay. So normally, politicians will speak for constituencies they know. Mm. And I can tell you now, I was uh, I was uh, deployed in social government weaker areas as an MMC. Yeah. In the budget, they are in there because I came back and advocated for them, and they were accommodated in the budget. Sewer mm. is a big issue there. So the point is, if you have administration that is not sober and fair, mm. politicians will prioritize according to what they know gotcha. about their constituencies. So so you'll talk about only the things mm. that you will probably even encounter directly yes. as, as, as an individual. Exactly. Or you have people who keep telling you about the things that, yes. that you know. Exactly. It's like a text to someone that you know, yes. a mayor. Mm, there's yes. this problem. And sometimes I will get something to be done because, oh, if I can just get them to keep quiet. Now, if you were, let me give you an example, which I was talking about at today's war room, service delivery war room. Mm. Uh, I don't want people to think we run war in Swan. It's a service delivery We've war room. We've accepted the war room <laughs> phrase as South Africans. I'm we glad. don't think it delivers much for the record. If we were to go to history, Google uh, war rooms, war South rooms, Africa, yeah. you'll find so many war rooms. <laughs> and and war rooms where it's more presentations than actually resolving things. That's but anyway, it, yes. so I'm saying to them, when it comes to illegal dumping, okay, Group head, do you know how many illegal dumping sites do we have in Tswane? Because you know how it's going to help you, that you can then tell me of these 170 illegal dumping sites, these are hazardous, therefore let's prioritize. Okay. But if you don't do that, you know what ended up happens. Is the other day I went to check uh, Hamaskral water, the dam, the mm -hmm. Lukral dam. Yeah. I find a spot, I take a location, I take a picture, I send to him, clear it. Two days later it was cleared. I've said this is not how you deliver service to the people. Yeah. Because if the mayor hasn't asked for it, you won't do it. Hmm. And that's where then you need to work on the system in a way that the legislation is quite clear. Mm. The planning must be comprehensive. You can't plan from a boardroom. Go to the people, go to communities. One of the things I, I've been saying this whole year, don't inform our plans based on the phone calls that came through the call center, the emails, the SMS. Yeah, you get the trend. Mm. Twitter, Facebook. Mm. I'm saying in a city with 34% of unemployment and the percentage of the elderly that we have, who uses your systems? Yeah. 
That means you've excluded the majority. And also don't be proud when you tell me we in the month of October, we had 217,000 interaction in a population of over 4 million. What does that even mean? So that's very little. It's very little. Yeah. Then I say to them, you need to go and scout for service delivery and track it. Mm. So you must have teams that are dedicated to go into a region and say, we drove through these roads these are the potholes that were received. You put them on the, you lock them on the system. We then track those as well. Mm. So, so, so when it comes to then where you, so for instance, we had Oliven today. Then the councillor says, we haven't had a mayor here in eight years. And remember, people still believe in political figures. True. They believe, and the last time they had was probably Sputa. Exactly. Yes. And, and in Lodia, two weeks ago, they said the same. Yeah. And remember, um, the, how many fifth or sixth mayor? In since, the past. In the Sputla. past eight years. Since Sputa. <laughs> exactly. And what does it mean for the residents, the 80,000 residents that f uh, fall under that yeah. ward, for instance? But what we are saying is that you can't, the agenda of service delivery can't depend on human beings and their feelings and their political biases. <laughs> it's just unfair. That's why you need a strong administration. Politicians won't stop being politicians. No. You need a strong administration that thinks about these things. Mm. The mm. moment you wait Before for Before you, you say it. But it's in the legislation. Mm. I'm saying, uh, David, we went to public meetings this year. Mm. I promise you there were times where we would have eight people that I have to go talk to them, brief them one by one so that we can go because we can't have a public meeting. Because people are like, oh, guys, we told you what we want. Do you know, I was once with the mayor, the mayor, a DA mayor, after uh, Msimang. Uh, Mohal Abba. Yes. And I remember we were in a, a you know, one of these, uh, exactly those, the public mm, meetings. Mm, mm. There's an old man who raised his hand and was given a chance to speak. Mm. He said, you are from here. Ish, that hurts. Yeah. And today you are here to ask us what we need. Yes. That makes no sense. Yeah. Your mom lives here. Yes. Your family lives here. Yeah. You know what we need. Because you grew up in the same exact circumstances. Mm. It makes no sense that you're mm. here mm. and it's a fact-finding mission of sorts. Yeah. The life of a black man hasn't changed since apartheid. Yeah. The trips to come here and spend money on food and We tents, don't even cater anymore, by the you way. You see what I mean? Mm. At the time, they used mm. to cater mm. I'm a banana and I'm mm. a apple mm. and, and so forth. Is a waste of a resource. You know what we need. Just deliver it. Yes. And stop coming here yeah. to ask us what we need. And we sit in the hall mm -hmm. and for a five minutes we feel mm -hmm. like we are special. The mayor is here. Yeah. And, and this is why when citizens hate politicians, we act shocked. But we inject that hate in them. Yeah. In fact, one of my first public meetings was in Mamelodi. Mm -hmm. It was about HMPG Stadium. Your, do you know HMBC Stadium is one minute away from my mother's house? Oh, wow. One minute. I jumped the street. I'm at HMBC mm. Stadium from my mom's house. I, it's been a part of my life yeah. for, for so and long. That's what they are telling me. As someone who did not grow up there, yes. they tell me that. And when we came, we then said to them, the council doesn't have money to do this. We have lost over 200 million on this project since 2010. Oh. And we even had to now put in 59 million right just to demolish. <laughs> They're like, are you guys serious? <laughs> so, Nifuna mm. Ningu. Brawili, do you know Brawili? Like, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to pretend I don't know a lot. Oh, it's people. fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you makes, are from there. <laughs> it, it makes my life, it makes this conversation easy when I pretend I don't know people. <laughs> Brawili and Dada Petla. They're all there, right? Yeah. You can tell, man, these are the gentlemen from the hood. Yeah. These are people who raised us, man. Now I grew mm. up here Kuguletu. Yes. We were not raised by parents, Tina. No. It was people like that who take community. community at heart yeah. and say, this kid, I won't allow them to do a wrong thing. That's what I, I that they reminded me of that, that mm. day. So the first hour, it's us speaking English, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Legislation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They watched us, these men. 
Okay, are you done? Yes, it's time to engage. Mm. And the chairperson opens up. Ay, yo, yo, yo. Promise you, I think we went for about 55 minutes. These men had it. Hey? Wow. They're like, listen, we don't care if you've only been in the job for two weeks. You're going to take minutes. this back to, the, to your colleagues. Mm. This is not how you treat citizens of this country. You've eaten the money, it's corruption, you're not telling us what is going to happen there. Instead, you are telling us, there is this, is, is this, is, is, are you going to appoint your people now? Mm, <laughs> is this mm. for your people? A new one. It's a new tender. It's a new tender. Because yeah, it always looks like that. Exactly. At the, so at the end, then I came, I was like, I'm, I'm not leaving these ones, but it's fine. <laughs> I was like, oh, if my notes, I came back, I'm like, oh, it's fine. And it didn't better, and it's fine. And mm. it, this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Then I clarified a few things. So then the last five minutes, they're like, no, it's fine. You have our blessing. At least we tested you. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> wow. And as a result, now we're putting that uh, whole project and hoping to get investors because... My melody people want their HMP, guys. While we're here on the subject, mm. what what exactly is the next step? So, because as far as we know, mm. the city doesn't have money <clears throat> yes. to fund projects like this. Yes. Yeah. So basically, what council proposed was that put it on a long term lease, fifty to eighty years. Okay. And it's gonna be mixed uh, use development, so that whoever investor is is, is taking the project, they are able to get money out of it. True. So for us, we just lease you the land, you do what you need to do on on, on, on our grounds. And the um, land starts from, because it covers quite huge. a lot of ground. It's yes. huge, yeah. yes. It yes. covers quite a lot of yes. ground. Yes. It's not just the immediate mm. stadium, yes. it's the land around it as exactly. well. Exactly, yes. So, so that is the plan. So, and then they said in the same meeting, you're going to go talk to my melody sundowns. Mm. We want them back in my melody. Here's an opportunity, but they may not be interested in other things. Just the the the. And we met with Sundowns. Mm -hmm. They were not impressed with us as well. I promise you, no one is ever impressed with us. <laughs> <laughs> and we met with them. We said, listen. We are, yes, you are a stakeholder, but we are mandated by the community of my melody that we speak to you. Mm. This conversation would not be complete and we would not be honoring the promise if we don't speak to you. Yeah. Here is what we are proposing. Obviously, this is an open process. I'm, I'm not selecting you, but mm. the people of my melody said, speak to them. Yeah. We are speaking to you. Then we said, make your submissions because it was during the public participation mm. Uh, mm. process. And and then we um, now, in fact, the report is ready. It's going to council at the end of November where council approves that we can proceed, that the community has approved. Mm. And it's not only HMPG, also with OD Stadium in Mabopani. Mabopani. Yes, and those people are so proud of their assets. Understandably, because like, it, it carries a lot of historic, I can tell you, the only time, when I was a kid, I couldn't mm. afford naturally to attend soccer games. Mm. We would climb on top of trees to watch the games. Uh, I couldn't afford to go to a festival. Mm. My, as I said, mm. my mom's house is a street mm. away. Mm. Uh, I, we would hear the music. Obviously, it's right here. Yeah. So we would go and climb the tree to watch. I saw Ali Cat oh, when wow. he said, let the good times roll. Yeah, yeah. I saw him on top of a tree. He was performing at Mamelodi at HMPJ Stadium. Those are nostalgic <laughs> references to our lives. And these are the things that, um, as we talk about, not only the identity of the nation, but our identity as the people of this nation, right? Mm. You say, to, to, for instance, to a person like you, mm. when you think about what influenced you as David Mashabella, mm -hmm. it's those moments. Yes. And then we take, we come take that away because we just neglected the stadium. Or we had a vision about the stadium is for 2010, people mess up and then we just move on. Penny. No, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll build another stadium. So uh, there's a lesson there for government. Yeah, We yeah. are too reckless with people's Lives. Lives. <laughs> Simply put. Because, I mean, it, 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 you may not feel it because it's not the water in the tap, but not that we've done great there, but I'm saying it, it, the fact that, and it's something that I was fighting the department on. So I visited each and every facility across the seven regions. Mm. I, I took time. And the day I got very upset, I went to Chukulain. Oh. David, 
Oh. I used to go to Chugulen as if it's my mother, mother's village, by mm. the way. Like mm. I just walk in there. People are like, you must stop doing this. I'm like, let's resident, stay here. But anyway, Chugulen, with all the problems, the crime. Crime. You can't walk around with a phone in Chugulen, apparently. That's the new thing. Like yes. holding a phone randomly. Exactly. At night, it's even worse. But guess the age group of these kids who are doing that. Yeah. During Sputla's time, there was f- sports facilities. <laughs> I know it's fine when you say combi court because you then think of MEC Masibuko. Mm. <laughs> but uh, you've got baseball, you've got um, tennis, you've got basketball, you've got soccer, netball, everything. Mm. It's been neglected for six years. I say I turn sure. around and say to the officials, if you were to put the six years and the amount of kids that were recruited to crime during these six years, would you admit that the city contributed to the nonsense in Chugulain? Yeah. If you don't avail these facilities to kids, you are availing them to be recruited for other things. Mm. So they would tell, of course, when you don't have money, you prioritize water infrastructure, in, in electricity, mm. roads, and, and then it, and you find sports facilities are right at the bottom. Yeah. I'm saying that's where you don't understand what you've put at the bottom. That's the future of this country. Yeah. In a situation where I was fighting for swimming pools, yeah, rainwater will kill me, but I fought for swimming pools. You know why? Those kids, they need somewhere to go. Mm. You know the one in Mamelodi West? Mm, I know it well. When I got there, there were 108 kids there. But it's always been like that. That's why I cannot swim till today. <laughs> what, what? You can't what? swim. <laughs> you can't. There's, there's, some, there's three people. When you do this, there's three people in front of you. Uh, me. Me. Yeah. No, I'm blaming <laughs> City of Tua. Where else were we going to swim? Our parents didn't have pools. Exactly. Yes, well, there was nowhere else. And, like, I went to an Okuria village. Uh, mm. They swim uh, uh, in, the, in the river and all yes, of that. Yes, we the did that very freely, by Thank the way, you. yes. And with, with the, uh, it's so big. Uh, yes, you can, no competition none. there. The only competition is how, dive, uh, how deep can you dive. There you yeah, go. But you don't have that. And I'm asking 108 kids between, say, 5 and 12 years old, when you say they mustn't use this pool, where are you sending them to? Mm. To do what? And I'm saying you can't be in government and not think like this. Whatever we do, it's not for us. The salary may be nice. The, the tax may be nice. Yes. But if you don't go home and come back and say, it bothers me, it's a problem for me. What do you think is the typical and this is an unfair question because mm. these are your colleagues, is a typical mindset of a local government official slash politician. For officials, I think they just get stuck. We don't have resources. We don't have enough this. We don't have enough this. We mark a plan. All our efforts are going to mark a plan. Mm. And they get stuck. Yes. And I always say, because for me, I, I'm quick to identify um, uh workers that mm. work, right? Mm. And you you can tell they've stopped being creative. They're surviving. Eish. And it's difficult if you're looking for solutions from people like that. Solutions need someone who's able to have 15 minutes and think about things mm. Mm. and not this like a red race. So for, for officials, well, it depends because there are those who just come and look for opportunities for themselves. <laughs> While you are working, they are busy, but they are looking for their Where own opportunity we, around yeah, you. Yes. Like, but why? how did this become about you? So that happens. Yeah. But secondly, it's um, the politicians. Yeah. Now, I always say, you know, MFMA has, did not give us any powers. What do you mean by that? Our powers are to influence the vision. But the implementation of that vision belongs to the accounting officer and his team. Mm. We then given a responsibility to legislate, which means that vision, if it needs a policy or it needs a bylaw, but we don't draft policies and bylaws. Someone does it and bring it to us. We read and we got con- get confused and we <laughs> ask for advice. And if, if you're convincing enough, then we take it to council. Okay. And then we must um, conduct oversight. Yeah. But the institution like Tuan is so big that if you are not, if you have not studied local government legislation, Ooh. you are not prepared 
you, you're in a always region. unprepared, essentially. Yeah. Now, I, I, imagine you get, um, and for me, I've got my strength, but I've got many weaknesses. Mm. Give me something that has numbers, like finances. Mm. I sweat. I sit down, I take colors, I'm like, oh, why am I talking about money? That's not mine, right? <laughs> yes. And then I need my um, meta AI there. Yes. Like, what does liquidity mean? <laughs> Remind me, liquidity, how will I know we are liquid it's now? cash <laughs> right? that like, you can uh, spend you know, now. <laughs> now. Now, you're reading a, so, so the last MECO meeting, we had 23 reports. Mm, sure. Average uh, number of pages on that report I think the shortest one would be maybe 14 pages, mm. right? Longest? The longest one would be 100 and something because it comes with an annexure. Yes. Now, I'm not an auditor, but I, I need to make a law for APC, mm. right? It's, 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 it's in there. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Now, the officials can can make that law. It's my responsibility mm. to to make it. Now, I sometimes feel um, councillors, then they give up because it's, sometimes it can be too hard, these things. It's overwhelming. And then they choose the other things to do, which sometimes are not helpful things. Because <laughs> if, you're an, if you're a councillor and you're not good at, me, at, at, at having a vision, mm. every councillor and caucus in that municipality, if we don't have a vision, even if it's as basic as to say we're going to serve, mm. that's a vision. Then what it does, it helps you to ask questions. Will this help us serve? Will this help us serve? Okay. Will the, yeah. At least there's a there's always a measuring yes. tool. Yes. Yeah. So so typically um you find counselors that are experts in something, then they join. So the, I mean, for instance, in the VF plus uh caucus, they've Many people are passionate about finances, okay. right? Then in the ANC, they will tell you about, you know, the, the social uh, infrastructure, mm. how mm. social cohesion. So that's the language they would talk. Mm. Or DA would talk more on good governance. Mm. Like, yeah, but uh, let's root out corruption. Mm. Eh? Mm. Yeah, so, mm. so each caucus, like EFF will like, yeah, no, why are you privatizing? And, and, and we'll like, ah, gotcha. in-source, build internal capacity. Eh? So, so each and every uh, caucus in our council mm. has an identity of their own. And I must say, in the coalition, it, it sometimes becomes very difficult for each party. And that's the future, by the way, that these identities get yeah. diluted. But the nice thing about having so many caucuses is that each one is able to look after um, a certain uh, agenda. Mm. But w the trick is n not to run the agenda here. You bring it to the center so that it gets influenced by others. How much does politicking, and in, in a lot of ways you've mm. answered this question, affect, and I'll use the word mm. affect because mm. I, could, I could use delay. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, how much does politicking affect service delivery? Particularly with your experience and yeah. with what you're, the dynamics that you're facing. And yeah. when I say politicking, I'm talking about where it's just a mudslinging exercise, mm. nothing else. We're just doing it to show you that mm. you're nothing and we are better and so forth. So as I said, in reality, we actually don't have many powers as councillors. Mm. Uh, the powers are with the 23,000 odd officials. Yeah. Right. On the so, ground. On the ground. Yeah. That are doing this work every single minute of the day. And so where it would um, affect is when I maliciously call a, a, an official and withdraw them from ah, serving. Okay. Or use my fights with officials and want to change them and swap them around. And, and so, so Because you have powers to do that. Yes, we yeah. do have, yeah. right? It, which now sounds like we have powers to do wrong things, but no, 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 no if but, you but, use but them you, correctly. Yes, I was yes. Right, you, have, you have powers yes. to move this one from yes, here yes. and so forth. If they're not, um, you know, doing what they're supposed to do, but the reality when it comes to service delivery, if you have um, politicians at the helm mm. that do not interfere negatively on service delivery. Where you say, just convince me this week on the areas that we went to, who did we serve? Mm. Which is what we are doing every Friday morning. Mm. Last week, where were we? What did we do? How many streetlights did we fix? How many portals? How long have they been there? Are they now fixed? Did you speak to, you know, the councillor so they 
talk to the community members so that they don't uh, dump mm. you know those yeah, conversations yeah. that well, that must be, happen we should be the basic stuff those are basic basics but now they 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 made to look like it's a special intervention and it's supposed to be basic yeah. but you know I always say david for us who studied politics and public administration from the day when Beki was still the president. Mm -hmm. There was a minister, Sistelo Shikaika. Yes. Remember when he was minister of province and uh, province, provincial and local government? Mm -hmm. He produced a report in 2009, 2010, yeah. the state of local government. That's it. The things we are dealing with today are still in that report. I, I read that report and, the other day. And we haven't dealt with... We haven't dealt. Instead, AG will tell you Politicians and officials have basic... Because I don't want to leave officials out. Mm, mm. You cannot talk about corruption at supply chain and think there was a councillor, a moya, who went to supply chain and drew up a specs and gave it to a friend. Mm. It doesn't work that Let way. Let me tell you, though, mm. the, 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 the general uh, view is that things happen that way. It's not true. It's yeah, not The general possible. view is politicians are, are always influencing these processes. They may call at night, mm. but during the day, the people who are drafting specs, people who are evaluating tenders, people who are giving those tenders, mm. it's all officials. The MFMA says councillors must not interfere with this process. And yeah. this legislation was approved when in 20, 2003. Mm -hmm. So when they find a politician has influenced, there's always five officials involved to match that one councillor who's yeah. done it. And you know what has been the biggest problem? Voters punish us because we are visible, because we are the ones who S went to... Says the, when, I says, yeah, right? born away. And if I don't come back and deal with these ones, then it's a problem. And mm. so officials are hiding. When they do wrong things, they're hiding behind the fact that it's not them who go to public meetings. And I said to you, city manager, please get your people with me there. Mm. I don't know what they've been doing. <laughs> they will tell me <laughs> what answer. I must tell. They must sit behind me, whisper. Then I tell the community. But it can't be that people make us, you know, sometimes, you know, there's a report that went to council, but it looks like an official didn't do something. A councillor from VF plus then picks it up and say to me, listen, if you approve this, this is going to be wasteful expenditure. Mm. I then said, okay, I'll just confirm the modalities. I'll come back to you. I then talked to the acting city manager. I'm asking what, what happened here? Mm. No, it looks like an official didn't do their work. So I'm like, so I got humiliated in council because I look like I, I don't know what I'm doing because mm. an official didn't do their work. Mm. What does it mean? <laughs> no, no, but what does it mean mm, now? What is the implication? What is the, wh this? What's going to happen? Because it may have happened now. W what other mistakes are they making? Mm. And it's these instances sure. where you find officials are so comfortable hidden that they are happy that we must fight with each other as politicians. I mean, for instance, the AG report of Tswane, the two years ago where mm. we had adverse findings. Yo. <laughs> The worst, the, is it the worst? The worst. Yeah, yeah. And then, is it the one at the bottom? Mm. And then the question is, so so, so the former mayor, Williams, got the hiding out of that oh. to a point where he says his party then excused him from the responsibilities because of that. Mm. But it was the CFO that didn't submit the statement. Yes, actually, we now remember what happened, yeah. It was a, actually even the way the story was captured. It was clear in the end that it was a CFO challenge, not a mayoral problem. And now when you then say to the mayor, I am letting you go. Yes, we must be held accountable for oversight. oversight. And so as a mayor, you then need to ask yourself, when I met with a a a AG and my schedule of things that need to happen, because you can have a schedule beforehand. When am I supposed to go for IDP, the process of preparing for IDP and budget, uh, you know, audit? Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. are key things of just making sure the, the institution functions. And you ask yourself, at what stage did the MMC and the mayor not notice? That there's a problem. Now, if they say to you, but we were told that these were submitted, there was no problem. What proof were you given? Mm. And sometimes you get used to working with people that you don't think 
which is you always have to protect yourself, unfortunately. So you have to ask twice. You have to get proof. You have to get all of that. And that's extra work. You should work with people that you rely on, you trust. You should, except that for me, I don't do anything without a written instruction. Ah. I'll talk to you. I'll text you. But there was a letter. Even it's one line. There's a letter. DSCM. Yeah. As per our discussion, this must happen by this time <laughs> in this way. Thank you. Sounds like you've learned a lesson somewhere. I was a chief of staff. Mm. And sometimes I, now I, I'm scared of getting arrested. So I, I don't do things that can <laughs> I'm easily... I'm a police no, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do things that will easily get me arrested. So one of the the risks of being a mayor is that you can get arrested. Mm. Mm. Whether it's the environmental pollution, or you so can many get a, things, you yeah. can even get arrested for things that happened in 2012. Sure. Like, but I wasn't even here. The, yeah. You've inherited everything. Yeah. And so in that space, you can't take things for granted. And that's just the nature of it. It's a big institution. Mm. And you can't then assume people get you. Yeah. No, no, no. It's also not our family space. It's, that's government. It's for the people. And also, you don't want a situation where people can go do wrong things and say, but she called me about it. Mm. So they are, they, they, because we are colleagues, there are things I would call you about, text you about. But the key things, dear, here is the instruction that we spoke about. This is how I want it implemented. Let's do it. And it becomes an illegal instruction. I want this conversation to benefit the people of Tswani. Uh, a lot of the questions that, that I have prepared have to do with how a person in Tswani experiences mm. their city. Um, and this is everything from, from dirty streets. And remember when I was texting you a few weeks mm. ago, it had mm. to do mm. with that, mm. uh, you know, to, to water that's coming out of yeah. the tab and things like that. Mm. But I want to start here. Uh, with municipal uh, uh, workers, you have a pending, and you said you inherit everything. Mm. You have a, you have a, you'll be in court yes. before end of, of November, and you'll be dealing with uh, promises, commitments, mm. agreements. Let's actually use mm. the right word that mm. were made to the workers that there'll be an increase in their salary. Yes, and that hasn't happened, mm. and they're unhappy, understandably. What is the overall story with this, and is there another way of solving it? Uh, before it even gets to court? Yes, there is. There's a trick. I'll tell you where the, the trick is. So, mm. so, so, so with the workers, the first thing is that there was this hostile relationship okay. between the previous administration and, and, and the workers. Previous, you're how, referring to uh, the DA-led uh, yes, yeah, yes. administration. Yes, and it didn't start when the former mayor Brink started. Remember mm. the two years we're talking about it, they were 2021, 2022, okay. they paid the other, then it's the year after. Okay. So it's not that it happened now. The mm. only thing that um, um, basically illuminated the the, 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 the tension mm. is during the strike. Okay. Right. Which to like went on for about yeah. three months. Yeah. And the response to the strike, it was illegal. And others say, no, it wasn't illegal. Well, mm. uh, but it was the response to say, we're not going to negotiate with you. And who's saying that? The, the mayor and the city manager. Okay. Until us as the coalition partner, it was before I joined the council, mm. us as coalition partners forced the sit down to say, can you at least sit down with them and hear them out? Because they are sitting with a signed agreement that they would get these monies. Now, to then say, we're not going to give them the money, they must understand there's no money. Talk to them, mm. explain this to them, which led to the CCMA, you know, being the mediator between uh, the mm. labor and 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 the administration. Yeah. Now that, that that's how this relationship starts. Now, when we then form this administration, the first thing was to say, colleagues, uh, hypocrisy is not going to help here. Mm. We, all of us, we have spoken for these workers and said the two percentages, percentages they must go to them, but mm. the modalities must be discussed. Mm. The first, uh, one of the first um, meetings I had with the accounting officer was to say, one, I don't want to fight labor. Okay. The vision of this administration relies on each and every man and woman in the city to come to the party and do their bit. Which, which in simple language means come to work and do your work. 
only. You want nothing them to more, nothing less. Nothing less. I am saying. As I'm saying, but if guys is I'm saying, Zinangati, I can't even afford to buy food, but I'm supposed to go to to work. Oh, I don't have money. Okay, exactly. I'm saying to the men in men and women in uniform. Don't accept each other and say you didn't pay me in advance. We'll pay you in advance. <laughs> don't okay. worry. Yeah. Got anyway. You. Yes. So then I said to him, I don't want to fight with them. Mm. Yes, there is a court case. But how do we w- talk that by the time we get to the judge, let's not get out of court because it looks reckless. Mm. Let's go to the judge. But when we get there, we'll speak like we are all coming from the city of Tswani. Got you. And so they then... They, before I came in, it looks like they had asked that they go back to the to to the mediation space, and so we met uh, uh, Imadu and Samu. Mm. For they they were very united in that meeting, mm. and they're not asking for a lot. They're asking for us to talk to them and share exactly what how we plan to deal with the issue. Okay. So we had that meeting on Tuesday. We're going back to CCMA. In fact, I'll go in the morning as well okay. just to make sure that the tone is received, mm. that there's no fighting here. However, the modalities, the fact that we have a deficit of over $4 billion <laughs> is not going to disappear overnight. <laughs> they know this. The workers. They know it. Yeah. But we are saying if we give you all these plans that we're going to recover, how much grace would you give us? And that's the conversation that is going to happen at the CCMA. And I'm Before not... Before the court case. By the time we get to the court case. And luckily for us, I'm, I'm saying luckily, mm. they then said to them, we are from Tswane. We know what's happening here. Talk to us. Mm. What do you? What are you thinking? We'll tell you what we're thinking. So, but what, what led to this now becoming a hostile setup could have been avoided. I... I I, I actually not sure, David, before the the strike, mm. but something may have happened. Yeah. But also the fact that these are two increases. I mean, that alone is a reason for anyone to go. To be upset. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just think that maybe the way it was dealt with. But remember, there was also instability in the city before the appointment of the city manager. Mm. Mm. So he came in uh, end of. 2022 and he then landed on that uh, audit mess. Yeah. So there was also a lot that was happening in the city but I actually think the build up of the two years that were not paid oh yes I remember the previous mayor Williams then took it for review mm-hmm. I think it's mm-hmm. a review yes and said um, we we you know exemption. Okay, that's what actually made them upset because when you say exemption, you say we don't want to offer an increase at all. Yes, that's actually one and, of the things. Now I remember in the budget there was zero mm-hmm. percent increase for Yo. workers and for councillors. And, and yet, yet there was an agreement. Yes. Prior to that, to the zero yes. percent yes. proposal. Yes. Oh my. Yes. God. So 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 while it then pan out and it played itself out in that way. It, there was a build-up over a few years that workers, they were like, mm, we're not doing this anymore. But that strike cost us more than we could have g- g- given to the to mm. the workers. So if you look at the cost of the strike, mm. the cleanup that happens sure. at night for three <laughs> months, remember you I now sh- on emergency, mm, on a, on a daily basis, the sabotage to our infrastructure. Remember, these are people who work with our infrastructure. They, so they exactly. can just go switch off yeah. there and you running around. No, yeah, sorry. they know what uh, to do. Like, they're just watching you like, who are you going to send? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to send us. Exactly. So that the outage is that you, it will take you long to recover the revenue losses. And we've asked, um, can you quantify the cost of the strike? Have you? No, I you don't think to quantify it. <laughs> because if you, you do, because you then say, which means we could find money, but we just could not find this money. Yeah. If we could find, and you understand, it's like during a, you know, it's a crisis. It's a you hostile. must do what you need to do. And listen, I'm not condoning any illegal protests, but when we said as the coalition, we said, who is the bigger person here? Mm. So who's supposed to be the bigger person between the political executive and the workers? Who's supposed to be the bigger person? It's the political leaders. Exactly. And because it's, it's a, for me, it's simple mathematics. You owe, you owe us. Do you believe you owe them money? 
Yes, it's in the agreement. It's signed. So and, and they were supposed is... to get an increase in terms of the negotiations, even at Salga by mm, then in council. Mm. So it's not a thumb sucked amount. It's there. It's there. And and it's back backdated money. Yes. Do now you see it that way. Uh, it, it, we those are the discussions uh, yes. that we must have to say. So how do you want? Because <laughs> if you say backdated, that would bankrupt. Us. No, but, but 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 if if we were fair. Um, yes. If we were fair. Yes. Yes. We agreed that mm. from the first of Jan, twenty twenty two, for example. Mm. For example, because mm, mm. I'm not sure about the dates, mm. I will start earning extra twenty yes. rand. Yes. And that didn't happen yes. for the past two years. Yes. If 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 I, you are fair, you'll say, well, I acknowledge that I owe you from then. Yes. But you're saying it, it becomes a complicated it, conversation. It, it becomes a complicated, um, you know, uh, a conversation because that's not the only debt the city has. Of course. Of course. I'm coming to the next one. <laughs> okay, the sure. scary one. This, uh, yeah. Please, you're man. going to court again. We, we, this and one. these two court cases, they keep me up at night. Hmm. And I'm like, yo, so I never can't do I unje. But there, there is a conversation that uh, I think I, I had it outside the local government space, hmm. where civil society organizations would ask questions about recovery from COVID, hmm. Hmm. and just testing the resilience of government hmm. from such things. Because if you see, I mean, the revenue going down, it was during those times of COVID. Yeah. And so the, 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 the problem is not just you owe this one, you owe this one, right? It's about when did the institution fail to honor its obligations True. and for what reasons? <clears throat> was it all coming all along? Or it just happened. Wake all up, of a sudden, there's a yeah, crisis. Yeah. And it, there's no such a thing where you wake up. COVID found us vulnerable. I remember during COVID, you were under administration. Yes. You already having other problems. Too many problems. Oh. And and uh, remember then, um, so so we had um, Sputler, mm. then elections. We had Soli, Soli. for about a year and yeah. something. Yeah. We had Mohalaba for... Five Even months, less months? than yeah. no no he started in March and uh, until it was actually eleven months mm, right mm. and then administration hit yeah and then we had um, COVID we have to acknowledge yes because it, it's in the timeline COVID yes yeah. and also it's not that the economic growth of this country was like rosy no. it wasn't yeah and. And also in the city itself, the instability because we lost the city manager and um, and then the acting started and it was just a mess. Yeah. All those things, they make the institution vulnerable. So stability, when people say, can you give us stability? I know exactly where they're coming from mm. because a, even a slightest sign of instability collapses everything. Right. But anyway, now with the with the workers, um, I think on Tuesday we're gonna use it as a um le batim vulam lo. Yeah. <laughs> to check what's Let's going just on. Check. Um are we good guys? Yes. So I will be there with the city manager in the morning with the deputy executive mayor, just to say we want to reiterate our commitment. The modalities belong to you, but this is the, the commitment on the side of the political leadership. What is an ideal, from the from mm. your perspective as mm. mayor, and you said it, it keeps, you, keeps you up at mm. night. It should. It's mm. a serious mm. problem. It is. And from a number of, 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 of areas, it mm. affects service delivery. Because these does. are the very people exactly. who are supposed to deliver the service. Mm. And they are unhappy with you yes. and your office as the mayor. They're saying, where is our money? Mm. What is an ideal? If you could, you know, throw in a magic wand mm. to all of this and make this problem go away. What is an ideal approach? What would you want to see happen? But to agree on a payment plan. Okay. Acknowledging that I owe you. Oh, that's Let's the first one. Let's talk about how I pay no, no, you. No, that's the first one there. Yeah. That's not, even we, we said, even before with the issue of just talking and the second conversation, then we started asking questions about this court case to say, <laughs> when we're in court, I don't want it to look like I'm fighting employees there. Then we started uh, talking about the modalities, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And, um, and, then even the first conversation, I said, even if we lose the case, we're not going to appeal it. Okay. Okay. 
and and because you know you're on, the back, you're on a back foot already. Which and high moral ground are we claiming <laughs> here? <laughs> None. You sign an agreement. You, there is an agreement. Until that is set aside, the city of Tswane owes these employees. So we're gonna go there and say, listen, we're gonna go to court to protect both our interest as the city as well as your interest. Because mm. the moment CNZ let's try to end it, this thing is not gonna work out. But then the modalities mm. are what may take maybe four, three, four engagements between the city manager with our guidance. And the and the and labor from what they said, mm. they said we have ideas as well. Just talk to us. Hence, it was <laughs> important to re-establish that platform with CCMA. Have you seen a drop in performance? Because things like this affect the morale. Mm. Have you seen a drop in performance, just from an observation point of view, maybe from you know conversations with colleagues mm. in relation to this particular matter in particular? Has it affected service delivery? I think it did for a certain a certain period. Okay. And uh, especially after the strike, and you know, it's like yeah, people don't care about us, and and but I think uh, there was a recovery okay. uh, where it was like no, no. Especially I think the CMA process helped a lot. Mm. The fact that people were back on the table, like you know, to the table to negotiate, then people say, okay, now we understand talk to us. Mm. And so I think from there, then everyone's like, okay, let's take our boots. Let's go back to work. Mm. But every time you meet them in a roadblock or a three point, <laughs> <laughs> they still bring it yes, up. Yes. Officials we of know. the city. Yes. Yes. We know. Ah. And, and also, I mean, they would say it's smiling. Yeah. Cause but they understand David, somehow they understand. David, yeah. the, 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 the quality of the rent. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's also in trouble. It is. Yeah. And we want, you know, uh, non corruptible officials. True. But we don't give them what will make them not to, to struggle while yes. they are working for us. That's true. Right? So so those are the but also in terms of the morale, mm. they a few things that you need to do, right? So we've been advertising and we said to the administration, please don't bring us all strangers. There are people who've been working for this city, gave their lives for this city. Can we see them going up the ranks That's as well? That's true. Yeah. There's mm. another case you're dealing with mm. against uh, ESCOM. Mm. Uh, this is also going to mm. court in a few in a few months, few days you rather, know, in the, the month weeks, of November. Week two, yes. yes. So geez, you have a <laughs> I know, right? What what are the basic details of this case? So uh, the city starting in 2021 mm. has not been able to honor its debt towards ESCOM, mm. right? And it escalated from when it started, say, to 1.3 billion that wasn't paid, brrr, all the way to seven, uh, seven point, was it nine billion last month? <laughs> and <laughs> there's the capital debt, there are areas, there's the interest on areas. Sure. Last month we paid 77 million mm. on the interest on the areas. That's doing nothing to the to the debt. Listen, if you give me that 77 million, I would lit up 20. Yay. Ah, oh, I, I would <laughs> live a dream. Wow. But that 77 million is going um to the just the interest on the mm. debt. Now the past few um, months, we've been able to pay the amount due. Okay. That is the current account. But instead of 30 days, we're doing it in 45 days, which is why we are accruing these, the interest. Um, the interest. Yeah. And so that's another side to this. And so we've got the, now, if you were to say freeze, you say we owe ESCOM 6.7, mm. right? No, I think it will reduce um, this week. Yeah, I know, say, you, say I know you made yeah. some cash. Yes, yes, yes. 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 The headlines this morning are yes, uh, yeah. 3.5 billion. You recover a little. just to be sure. A little bit. <laughs> just a little yeah, bit. Okay. Well, we must celebrate even the small smi milestones. Yeah. So, 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 so if you freeze it um, and say, so, so we then say, based on this uh, recovery we're experiencing, we can service our current account um, and then deal with the debt. So we then, um, uh, so I get elected today. The following day, I get baptized with fire. Yeah, we saw it. It happened live. It was like you were 
but in uh, uh, but in these shows that we watch, reality show, you were we all saw that when you got the news that you're owing so much. Oh my word! Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> just it just happened that the minister of electricity is around. He then calls and says, listen, I hear Kwaha is out. I'm like, yes, sir. Together with Pyramid, with uh, Bella Ombre, with Princess Park, everything is out in Tswane. There's no power. There's no power in Tswane, but I'm still out in Pyramid. This is around half past nine. Mm. I think he felt sorry for me, like shampoo, I think. <laughs> so he said, no, man, let, let's talk tomorrow. I, I then said, no, no, I'll, I'll just text you because they are likely to finish late. Okay. I'll text you mm. uh, or how we're doing here. Because obviously uh, with Kwaha, uh, it's ESCOM, the one side is us on the other. Okay. So when something happens, it affects both of us. Mm. So anyway, so we uh, luckily, um, I use this word a lot, but within six hours, we restored Kwaha. The damage was in that bed. Mm. And uh, three hours later, around four in the morning, we restored Pyramid, which was out for 10 days. What were the issues there? So Pyramid, uh, it looks like someone came in and just cut, s- s- cut a cord and left. Wow. That area for 10 days without water. These are farmers. Yo. Roy Val. The treatment plant. Imagine a treatment mm. plant without power for 10 days. Temba. We had to shut down Temba because now the, the the treatment plant wasn't working. It was delivering non like ugh, to the plant. So we had to shut it down. So the problems are just compounding. And I'm the only one who's there. Remember, I acted for about 13 days mm, and mm. I was the mayor alone for about five days. I remember. So I, they, yeah. And I was just dealing with all, with all of this just by myself, the only executive with the officials in the city. And so and so in the also so now power restored, I can breathe. In the morning, we then go to Kwaha just to check exactly because I, I couldn't go to Kwaha because I was in in fact I was in pyramid. We were supposed to switch on pyramid on the 10th day. <laughs> to, David, I'm you not couldn't. even lying. Literally two minutes. The guy who's coming to... Now, I need these guys have these big guys, mm, trusted mm, one to switch mm, to on. Switch on. Ah, guy comes, he's getting his tools, he just go, bam. Bella wow. Ombre is, 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 is... No, Bella Ombre is off. It affects this one. And it just, it's... It's a spiraling. And so I'm sitting with these guys outside. So now their problem is that when is she leaving? I'm like... So we can... So I'm saying to them, <laughs> give me Kwaha. Basically, you shouldn't be here to see this. Saying, give me Kwaha, then I'll go home. Now that means midnight, we're still waiting. Kwaha is not back. Are there people working hard at trying to restore? Oh my goodness. I promise you, that day, that night, yeah. I don't know how many times I thanked them. There, there was a beautiful picture that they took where we just gathered. And everyone was like, guys, we are here. And 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 there's this guy, apparently he's very emotional. That's how he is. <laughs> it was just, he's like, I'm so tired, but I'm going to get this right <laughs> Wow. Right. And there were counselors that were there. There were community members who brought dinner. So, yeah, so it was just this community just happened to say, guys, we can't do this. We need to get this sorted. So then, um, so oh. when I left at around quarter past one, mm. it was because even ESCOM said, now nah, we can switch on. I was like, oh, let me go to sleep. Yeah. When I got home, the messages of like people insulting me, is this the power you wanted? And now that you have it, what are you going to do about <laughs> it? <laughs> wow. So then I met the minister. At Guaja. Oh, you did so eventually, So we then yeah. go in the morning. We met, uh, we're supposed to do 10. We ended up doing 12 p.m. before we moved to Hamaskral. Mm. Then he says to me, um, what do you need? I'm like, I need to clear the debt. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, help us with the infrastructure as well, but <laughs> debt. So he's like, no, let's talk. What are the dynamics? Then I briefed him. And he said, no, let's talk. So what has been happening with the debt is that we've got a a willing political principal in the form of Minister of Electricity. And he says to us, yes, we can talk about the debt, the payment plan, but it's not enough for me. I need to know how will you sustain not only the 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 supply of electricity, but also just to secure your your revenue and energy supply. 
just for the future. Here's an interesting mm. thing, mm. and I'm sure you know, and everybody does. He's mm. a former mayor of Twani. Oh, yeah. he, he knows the dynamics exactly. of this ex- exercise. I, say, I asked him, are you here to induct me? I did it wrong the first day. <laughs> <laughs> Second day, you're already here. Like, yeah, let me show you how to do how this. How it's done. Yes. Yeah. And, and so he was so welcoming to the idea uh, that we can actually have a sit-down. I said to him, listen, the last thing this city and its residents need is to for us to go fight it. We don't even have the money for lawyers instead of taking the money for lawyers and pay you. No, yeah. So he said, let's do that. So we've had a couple of meetings. Um, so we are preparing two presentations. Mm. One is on based on our project, cash projections in the next um, uh, few financial years. Mm. How do we propose to pay? Because we're saying we're a metro. We can't ask for it debt right off. I mean, seriously. No, you have to get your act together. I mean, it's like you're wearing Gucci and you yeah. like, he like, was like, <laughs> yeah. no, you're supposed you to know better. A, a uh, person who's wearing mm, Gucci can't uh, go and ask for a payment plan. Exactly. <laughs> like, hey, you sell the Gucci, sell the Gucci. <laughs> that's it, yes. So that's where, so the payment plan, we sort that out. Mm. And then we talk about revenue protection. What are the key programs? And I said to him, use it to my ears because it's going to focus our, 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 our efforts. Mm. With the revenue protection, it talks to this energy security of the city. Mm. It feeds into our plans for economic revitalization. And then revenue collection becomes the benefit yeah. of that. Yeah. So I said to him, so he then said, well, we've got expertise at ESCOM that you may not have um, readily available in your city if you don't have tenders, mm-hmm. we have them at ESCOM. Why don't you talk? So on Monday, we're having a follow-up meeting where my team will present the two plans to his technical teams. I'll be there because I'm not, I don't, I don't mm. take chances. There's no <laughs> things for technical. You become Lesson, that mayor. I will be there. I'm like, hey, hey, why are you putting that number there? No, <laughs> wow. <laughs> don't mess this up for us because that's where it's gotten to now. Like, yes. don't mess this thing up. It's not every day you find a willing minister on in circumstances like and a, this. And a, a Willie Mayor wants to be there throughout the process, which is what you're doing. <laughs> Listen, there's no choice here. We need to sort this out because if we don't, it messes up how we work going forward. Yeah. If we can't have a way of dealing with our cash flow, it's too reckless to pay a, a, a creditor like ESCOM every week. Mm. We need to get to a point where we have rhythm with our expenditure and having to decide. So also we agreed, fine, we can go to the judge. The judge, it's because we want an order so mm. that you, you yeah, know. Yeah, it locks we, you as it well. It locks us. You're almost saying, mm. give us the punishment. Exactly. Say, but we've spoken, this is a, a settlement, the, a settlement plan that we have both agreed on. And then if we're happy, then we we, we do that. But also I was saying yesterday morning, um, we started before council, we started with a briefing on the two power stations. Mm. I'm saying to them, you can't isolate that discussion from the discussion we're having. <sighs> if we talk about security of energy and the revenue protection, we must have it with this minister. And we now must have a transactional advice. I'm like, oh, we have money to procure now. <laughs> transactional <laughs> advice. Like, oh. yeah. so, so there's a lot for me. It's not a lot of priorities that has my attention. Other, there are MMCs. They can mm, take care mm, of those. But this one. Is the, this... There's a couple of them that I'm saying, if we drop the ball here, the residents would say, ah, these ones. They failed. And the thing about power, electricity is... When you have it consistently, properly, yep. you don't acknowledge it as a, as anything. Yes. It's automatic. Yeah, the lights like are switch, on. Like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, your TV's on, sharp. That's it. Mm. But when you don't have it. Aha, it's like water. Uh-huh, it's you like take it for air. granted until, <laughs> right? When you don't have it, it's a crisis. Now, now, a part of the things that we spoke about with the minister, exactly what you're saying, you're used to having... Mm. Sorry, electricity, and then you don't have it. So we've got these over 550 informal settlements. Majority of them have electricity. We did not give it to them. Illegal connections. And I'm saying illegal connections are killing us. One, they damage the infrastructure. Secondly, they overload, and now we must have load reductions because of that. Thirdly, they're not supposed to be connected as criminality, man. Like, mm, mm. <laughs> however, they've tasted electricity. They know how easy it is for you to have a kettle than to boil water Wednesday, using a pot, a, a prime stove. Yeah. Yes, those things. Yes. So we're saying 
instead of pretending that this problem didn't happen under our nose, and the question is, what are we going to do about it? Mm. There is no way we're going to formalize over 500 uh, informal settlements. Within the legislation, what empowers us is the municipality to give people prepaid meters so they can pay for our electricity. Yeah. And he said then there's a project that uh, ourselves and Buffalo City have been identified to be piloted here. But also he said something which concerns me that Tswane wasn't cooperating and I'm trying to trace this lack of cooperation as to why was the reason? Mm. Because you, you see, w one of the things um, I, 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 I like, not like, but I respect, mm. is the IGR, the intergovernmental relations, because mm. I appreciate that you can be a metro, but you still need province, you still need national. Without the intervention of the national government, we didn't even talking about clean water in Hamaskara. Mm -mm. Now, when you were talking earlier, to what extent that does politicking affect? The, the running of a city. It's those things. Yeah. Where I'm supposed to have a monthly meeting with the premier and I don't go. Mm, but whatever because... he does, it affects me. Why wouldn't I be interested in that yeah, conversation? Yeah. Where you have MMCs that don't go to Minmax, don't go to... Why? <laughs> because that means you're depriving of your city of not only the exposure, but also the discussions that are in the constitution. The constitution said you are interdependent. Yeah, yeah. There's no silos here. So, so that's one thing for me I had to revive to say, listen... I will be where I'm supposed to be. I, I don't have, for me, I'm a beggar. Hey, like I went to like meeting with the MEC. <laughs> You're the worst um, type. I know, right? I'm like, MEC, yes, I get. That's your agenda. Can you add to this? I think that was uh, MEC of uh, 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 finance. finance yesterday, yes. or is it two days ago? No, uh, no. Uh, uh, went you with the, with the MEC? No, no, it was last week. Oh, that's it last so week. We was, rocked, I, oh, I saw a video oh, of it. Oh, yes. we, we rocked up at a meeting. We didn't even know even there was a media briefing. We're sitting. So I'm sitting there. He's listing what you want to. I'm like, oh, now I've got things to talk about here. Like, yeah, Ek industry. Yeah, yeah. Please edit this. It's like, okay, if I don't have a different session, I'm like, sharp. Oh, by the way, don't forget this part as well. I'm like, hey, grants, guys, where are the grants? Give mm. us grants. We'll spend them. I promise you 100%. Just give us the grants so we can go to communities and complete projects. Yeah. And so for me, I have no I have no standards. I meet any MMC, I, MEC, I like, hey, by the way. Begging bowl. Yeah, like, hey, listen, if it comes up, this is what I said to MEC so and so. So, I mean, I spoke to MEC for roads. I'm like, hey, maintain your roads in the city. R80, mm. R55, we need you. Go, go. You know, so those are the questions conversation that I think we just need to lower the walls and see beyond. I'm, I'm not an ANC see, member, but I'm not, I'm not scared of people. I mean, it's their job. To do the work. The other day I said, Premier, send him a text message at 11 p.m. Ah, we need intelligence. We are dying here. Theft and vandalism. No, these people are sabotaging us. Mm. He's not a person from my part, but he's a Premier. He must help. <laughs> so I think also just the, the 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 willingness to talk to other spheres, but also to other mayors. I spoke to Kagaz, I spoke to Dada. Mm. Guys, we're in the same space. We've got issues that start in Joburg and Ekurulen, and we found them in our rivers in Tswane. But that's not how we're going to start the conversation. The conversation would be, we're having an issue with landfill sites, all of us. Yeah. And question is, this waste to energy, I hear that you guys are implementing, are you winning? Because if you, if you are winning, bring it here because we're running out of space mm, in Swan mm. as well. And sometimes we we will have to lobby each other before we go to province to say, listen, um, we don't like what they're saying, but how do we as metros approach it so that it doesn't affect us adversely, you know? Wow. So yeah, those conversations are happening as well. Do you know, it, the interesting thing about it, you give a, an impression of challenges. Mm. And it's not only an impression. We see it. We know it. It's in the press. We, it's, it's heading mm. uh, uh, newspapers every day. Your previous mayor gave an impression that things were not so bad. Mm. That's the, the, mm, mm, and that's mm, where they mm, mm, fought mm, to hold on mm, to mm, power. Mm, 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 it, it's a hot potato. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I'm even surprised you have to do it, frankly. <laughs> it's the worst time to be mayor of Twan. Yes, it is. It is. Why was it that, and this is, you may not be able to answer this mm. very easily. Why was it easy for the others to give an impression that things are fine? 
And and I and remember uh, you were in the room. Yes, 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 yes. During their yes. their leadership. Yes. Why was it even even the day before? I think the day before you announced, or the day mm. or the day of the uh, the what's it? The uh, motion. The motion. Mm. They had a little thing in front of 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 the oh, office yes, of yes, the city yes, of Tuani, yes, yes. singing that. along mm. and all of that, mm. giving different speeches. Mm. The impression we continue to get with the DA run municipalities are that all is not so bad. Things are hunky dory. And immediately, mm. the day after you were appointed, mm. that's when we started hearing and knowing that things are actually not so good. What happened? What is the difference here? Because the difference for us is uh. the day before and the day after. Yes, yes. Nothing else. I think it's it's the approach, mm. right? And because it could have been so. So with the previous mayors. Maybe the first who didn't have to deal with these issues, no. but definitely under Randall. Because for me, who was in Tswane, I know exactly the day this thing started. Okay. I can plot it from 2019, yeah. right? And with him, he then decided, I'm just going to be a, a quiet mayor. He wasn't a media person. No. He would go out when he's dragged out there. Mm. I mean, I remember the issue of Kratos. He only went out there, I think, once or twice, and then Celia had to take over the communication yes. on that. So he wasn't a, a comms person. Celia is a seasoned politician. Mm. Maybe politicians must project hope all the time. Mm. And <laughs> that is the real... So, so for instance, um, when I just joined council in Feb, there was a, and I think it was like two days or three days, and there was a media briefing. Uh, one of the things that I never get to um, to be comfortable with is this summoning of the media, but I understand it's necessary. But yeah. So then there are someone to listen, uh, we've got a financial recovery plan that we need to mm. present to you. And then it, it had five pillars. This is what we're going to do. Then... But the one that I want to zoom in is where he says we will uh, collect one billion rand from the debtors book every month, um, coupled with intensive Tanzania Dima led by us, political executive, and yeah. this money is going to come in. Yeah, that target has never been met. Hmm. You hear but it for the first time that we never met that target. What were the challenges? So that debtors book right now stands at over 23 billion rands. Oh, okay. And no one knows exactly what is in that debtors book. What is a recoverable, what is not a recoverable. Mm. What came before COVID, what came after COVID. Oh, no. What came with the economic uh, growth, what came with the economic decline. In, in All th of that. That analysis has not been done. Yeah. Right? And we understand that with so many Tswane residents unemployed, we have fewer people who are able to pay their bills than they were before COVID, for instance, right? 100%. And to just say we're projecting 1 billion rand from that data book without understanding, then we took the top 1,500 customers from that from the data book. Mm. We used to get 10 job cards for Tswane Adima. Mm. And I promise you five would find stands and they would be owing us 2,500, so 2.5 million 1.9 million, and all of us would come back and say, but why? Oh, it's been disconnected already. Or, or people have moved to solar, or the owner died, the owner yeah. moved, and there's no one there. So we then realized, but this money is not money that is easily accessible. Mm -hmm. On paper, it looks, it looks good. Yeah. So the point is, yes, you make an announcement, like I did with the 100 days plan, mm -hmm. and then the media... Did they ever go back and say in February you said this? Where are you now? Let's check it. Let's check up. Because on we check, we we actually rely on the media to keep us honest because we don't go meet residents one by one on a single basis mm -hmm. on a single day. So we it's the media that is now that instrument for us. That gets you that a says, wider audience. Listen, there's your clip you saying 95% of the bills in Tswane will be based on actual readings and not estimates. How far are you with that? Mm. So I think I think uh, also when in, in a situation um, where you drive communication agenda, it's not two-way. Mm. You are the one that 
that dictates where it's yes. going. Yes, then you can dictate the tone, the message, everything. And it, that's the art of communication, by mm. the way. We were mm. told if you want to be a successful political com com communicator, yeah. that's exactly what you need to do. Yeah. Now, I'm saying... Um, the books are there. Every month there's this report um, that is released, the monthly financial statements of the city. It's published. Mm. No one has ever said, hey, guys, I see here. There's a discrepancy. It will only be when there's a headline because someone spoke to some journalist. And so, and so, and so the point is, for as long as, as politicians, we are in charge of communication and it's one way and it's not... And also opposition don't do their work. Because remember, executive, you must be positive all the time, including how you project your business. Now the opposition must come in and say, ah, these ones, did you check page mm. eight of the report? Mm. And I'm not even talking propaganda here. Just yeah. say page eight, we are concerned, you know, and just to keep us honest. Because it's easy for, for you to say the house is not burning where everybody else can see it is. And you say, no, we're good. We, the guys are working to switch off to, to kill the fire. Yeah. But you give, continue to give that impression mm. and nobody really interrogates. There's no one working on the fire. So it's Ex going to burn this thing. Exactly. And that's, that's really how you're saying we were getting only the best bits mm. of the story, mm. not the whole story. I've never communicated a statement where you say, oh, I'm doing badly. I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tweet you, right about now. my findings. I'll tweet about my findings. Um, Yo, I went to this sports facility. It hasn't been used. But I've never issued a media statement where I'm like, oh, we are failing the community of Chukulain. <laughs> so you see, that's, and that's how you know we communicate as politicians. And it's dangerous that no one is checking on us. So, so now you then say, how do you, if I'm saying this to you and say, I want to be honest, mm. I want to be an honest person, right? With, I don't have all the powers, but I've got the job, mm. right? So how will the residents of Twane know? Yes, that this thing is happening. Yes. Yeah. Now, you must force that communication where you put yourself out there. And uh, again, media is the best, but mm. also... Go to communities. Yeah. Go lie to them live and see mm. what they're going to say about you. They'll tell you. you their lived experience is different exactly. from what you're telling So, for instance, me. tomorrow we're going to Kharangua in the morning. Mm. At 10 on, on Sunday, we're going to Refilwe. When we go there, it's going to be important what we say to them before they say it to us. Yeah. They will ask, Nizoti, what again, do you want? Again, we're here again. Yeah, what do you want? Sure. And they will come. They will come. No, they will definitely come because they want to know these these lies. Will they be blue or green? <laughs> <laughs> and and unfortunately, that's what. Um, but also, we've exp I have experienced a lot of positive feedback mm. because for me, the office just is not my thing. All of a sudden, yeah. I'm not an office person. All of a sudden, oh really? I promise you, Zintle, I complain when I'm like, no, guys, when am I gonna? In my diary, we lock Fridays. I'm not in the office. Mondays, not in the office. Mm. Tuesday afternoon, find the office because we must caucus for Mako. But I'm not in the office. What so has I changed go, you? I, I think for me, it's the job. Mm. You you know, one of the things that um. I understood when I was managing the coalition for Action SA, understood what was expected of the MMCs and the Section 79 mm, chairpersons mm. of Action SA. You would have seen how we promoted Tembe, Nkuli, yeah. Afunzi at the time because we said to them, your time in the office must be very minimal. Yeah. Your time of going to fancy events must be very minimal. <laughs> Where you need to be is with the communities. That's only where you're going to understand what is happening. So when I was the deputy mayor, um, obviously the responsibilities that I had in the party, they, they mm. had to be reduced. And on Monday, I would be in the region with ward councillors. Like I would come like, oh, you said you have an issue with your high mass lights. Can I come and see it? So Mondays, I'll do that with ward councillors uh, in, in the social movement. Mm -hmm. So now I know... I know their issues because yeah. I spend time with them. And then um, a Tuesday morning, I would do um, the uh, maybe museums, libraries, and which were in my in my portfolio. I would do mm. the same on Thursdays and Fridays because Wednesdays are for MACO meetings. Yeah. And it became a rhythm. 
Ah. That I get bored now. Like I was complaining even today. I'm done with your um, <laughs> office now. I, I want to be out there. Wow. So you would see me a lot, um, you know, going to places. And for me, I, I don't have the, like things I don't like doing. Uh, I mean, yeah. I was like, <laughs> is, is it for the city? Okay, invite <laughs> me. Go. I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so I think also is to accept that this job is not what I um, I know and used to. Mm. Remember, I'm learning. There are people. I'm. I'm. In my make, I've got people who've been politicians for three decades. Man, who am I? You're to the be? youngest uh, politician in that sense. No, no. They've. Yeah. yeah yes. yes. Even the youngest in the make. Uh, politically, she's senior than me. Wow. In that sense, yeah. uh, much as I mean, I've been in the space, but um, so for me, I accept that I'm not an expert in this thing. Mm. I must put in the work and the time to learn how this side works. I know how this side works, but also using what I know to influence this because there are things I don't like about this side. So I take the stuff I like. And bring and then, them this side. So so today the, the deputy executive mayor is like, yo, I, I, I. we wake up at seven. We must be at a meeting at seven. They're like, we said we wanted to serve. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's serve. Yeah, because, I mean, how many hours do we have in a day? Sure. I mean, just today we were already seated at quarter past seven. We had a whole war room. When we were done, we were in Oliven. After Oliven, when reaching six, we had to go back to Tswane House. I had to come prepare for this. Yeah, and that's that is that job. It has no boundaries. And 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 for me, what what my I observe about it is that if you don't love it, you will not be able to pull it off. Or if you don't. Get yourself to love it. <laughs> and you know the the funniest part. So so when I started working for for Action SA, I, I wanted to do things like nah, don't talk to me. Just give me an assignment. I'll do it for you. I don't I don't like people. This is me. Mm. I don't like people. So just give me an assignment. Academic I'll do approach. It. Yeah yeah yeah. I'll do your research and then and so <laughs> so then I manage the coalitions. But I'm still like my access is very limited. Mm. I talk to mm. the people who are appointed and and all right. And then we're preparing for policy conference. You know, sometimes in life, you get prepared whether you like it or not. Yep. And there's a phrase, uh, a man will find his purpose on a route he took to avoid it. That is very true. Yes. He will avoid it and work hard. <laughs> and so and even, force you. even when we're going to the policy conference, now I must get the delegations from nine provinces to, to Gauteng. And I'm like, oh, so many people I must talk to. I talk to people, talk to people. <laughs> so I'm still saying I don't like dealing with people. Mm. Fast forward. I get to be a deputy mayor. My favorite moments is when I'm sitting under a tree with some magogo. They're telling me this and this. We haven't had water. This. When are you doing? No, you know what happened there. I'm mm. like, those are my favorite moments. It's changed you or made it, you uh, discover yourself. It made me to discover myself in a way that I wouldn't think my family would appreciate the growth. Mm. I, I thought they would be scared for me. Mm. So I'm a fifth child. So I'm a baby of the family. <laughs> so there are things that I always get shielded from. I, I've got like four big sisters. Mm. I'm the fifth one. Wow. So no, I'm a baby. There are of the things family. that they, you don't even know happen less, in the family. Less, even now, like there are things where I'm shielded. <laughs> Grown as I am. The that, whole existing <laughs> male swag. I'm a baby there. <laughs> <laughs> and so and so my fear was one is gonna is gonna interfere with my identity. Now okay. I'm very jealous of who I am. Mm. <laughs> I, I, oh, I'm very jealous of who I am. And so I was worried and I wasn't sure how I'm going to navigate around that. And yeah. my sisters just said, be yourself and see. Maybe that's what is lacking in this space. I want to conclude on the electricity mm. thing, but before mm -hmm. I leave I, on it, and I, for, you're not a great investment for ESCOM. Yes. Let's take that. Yes, box. yes. That means they wouldn't be keen on doing new things with you. Yes. This is Accord, according, yes, according yeah, yeah. to what they've said to us on Oh, Monday. they've already said that. On, yeah. Yeah. That you, they even stopped five projects because of the debt. Yeah, that's, no, no. That's my no. point. That's yes. exactly my point. Mm. That we can't we can't buy you new shoes. You are not yeah. ideal. Yes, yes. Yes, There's a lot yes, of sir. things you don't yes, do. Yes. How do you then overcome this? Because you need the infrastructure, you need mm. the new projects. Yes. How do you then from your position say, but 
help us so we can help people in 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 our in our in our city and that's exactly what we said to them forget who was here who is here let's just think about the residents of the city so there's a couple of things happening one is that the projects of the power stations mm. and the IPPs they're going to help not only us as the city but they will help the power utilities if we get that right okay. so they recognize that mm. Secondly, which is what we are focusing on, is that we are able to propose a payment plan. Mm. And if nothing disastrous happened, we'll be able to, to honor that. Okay. And, we, and that's what the meeting on Monday is about. So, so the issue of the payment plan, one aside. Secondly, we do have projects in the city that are paid by the city, even if it's not a lot of money. But these projects are supposed to assist in bringing revenue from the side of electricity and keep the lights on. Okay. So it's not that we've stopped. We're not doing, we do have money uh, allocated to upgrade Kwaha, okay. whatever piece we can upgrade, uh, make sure that Social Nguve has a reliable supply and avoid these load reductions, Bronco Spread, and Kangala, those those, um, areas. But there's a big reforms that National Treasury is running, both on water and electricity. Mm. Because, I mean, w the situation we have is, is a national crisis. Absolutely. Yeah. So so these are reforms, basically, they say do change how you do business. So treat water, electricity and waste as trading services. Where it's like you're running a company. Mm. In your company, you have finance, you have HR, you've got this, this. So all the skills you need in that, put it in a business unit. Mm. And the, so August Council approves this uh, turnaround strategy. In October, Council approved. Uh, so in August, it was the water uh, strategy. Okay. Uh, end of October, it was the October turnaround strategy. I think we're the only metro that has been able to meet the National Treasury deadline. So that's mm. cool for us. They are likely to attract grants. Mm -hmm. With those grants, then we invest back. So I'm saying to the colleagues, Obviously, we have a water crisis in 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 Gauteng, like we are dealing yes, with it it's an now. Entire crisis, province, crisis. Yeah. Uh, that's one working with the rainwater, but it's not. So rainwater will do what they do because they are our supplier. But there's things that we can do with other partners, like the Dan the Danish government. Mm -hmm. They want to invest in our infrastructure, for instance, and different sources of water. We don't want water tankers. No one wants water no, tankers no. except for people cost, who benefit from water tankers. Problems. Too many problems yeah. for my liking. So 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 the the turnaround strategies are supposed to also attract grants. But what is nice about them, which is uh, something I said I'm gonna start tracking now next week, mm -hmm. is to say what are you doing to implement the strategies? Because it's one thing to say we approved the strategy on time and national treasure raised the strategy. Mm -hmm question is, so uh, when are we starting to build these business cases if they're going to uh, help us? Mm. But on the side of electricity for ESCOM in particular, we're saying we want the IPPs introduced to this conversation. We want the Pretoria West uh, mm -hmm. power station introduced, not only for energy security, but also for to deal with the issue of waste to energy, mm. energy to waste, no, waste to waste energy. To energy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That we've got six landfill sites that are closed. Mm. What are we going to do about them? We've got four that are reaching uh, the lifespan. So that's the Pretoria West mm. power station. Then we've got the Royval. The minister says, well, can we talk about the Royval one? Because if you succeed the you don't need me to mm. supply you with any electricity. No, you can do it yourself. You can do it for yourself. Yeah. And so hence that conversation we had yesterday was quite important. And it's not about like whose uh, project is it, who started. No, no, this project was started over a decade ago. Mm. We must stop now. We must do it. So that's happening. But while we do that, we're also saying, David, if we do not expand the pool of people who are who can afford to pay their bills in the city. Yeah. We'll be having this discussion. It will be a different mayor and you'll be like, mm, who said that guy? It was the <laughs> other one. Yes. If we don't deal with the issue of economic uh, revitalization, how we attract investment into the city, this conversation is incomplete. However, you do realize that uh, there's a lot of factors that affect mm. economic revitalization. <laughs> Part of them is 
available skills in the city. Mm -hmm. Some of them is uh, the safety of any investor mm. in the city. Yes, that yes. means you're, you're yes, dealing with yes, crime yes. issues. Some of them is reliable power, reliable yep. water supply. Yep. Yep. All of that. There's a yep. lot of, I'm sure I'm missing out on oh, a, lot yes. of, a lot of factors. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, you can just stick to the mandate of local government and say it depends on you honoring the mandate of local government, that's basically. It. That's yeah. it, yes. Yes. And, and we saw in the last report uh, that you were able to raise three point something billion rands mm. in, in one month mm. uh, through people actually paying for yes. the services. Yes. How did you pull that off? So, you see this thing of meters. Mm. People may underestimate how residents have withdrawn from paying us because mm. they're saying you're not billing us on what we've used. Yeah. You are scamming us. Pretty much. Therefore, it's fine then. Keep your electricity. Yeah. And so what we have done was to get um, these technical interventions, the robocalls and whatever, just make sure that the bill is, is delivered on time to the resident for them to pay it. Make sure our customer centers are accessible. The online platform is easy to use. Gotcha. Make it easy for the resident or the customer to pay. Mm -hmm. So so that that is what has happened. So those interventions, are, they are the ones that now must start yielding results that for the ones who can pay, they are able to pay without dropping a sweat, mm -hmm. right? So and that's, not feeling like they're being scammed. A, a very important yeah. that. So because we have a situation where we have naughty officials, they go take selfies as if they were reading people's meters. They're like, no, we saw them here, but they never looked at my meter. Whoa. Then why am I getting this bill? And then we say, for you, we're going to give you three months and then we'll check. And then it's, it's too complicated. And so that for us, uh, it's just for uh, customers saying, I, I'm confident this is my bill. Let me pay it. Mm. So that that is paying dividends. The other thing is that we've got on that debtors book, we've got a lot that is in disputes and it's mostly with big businesses. Mm -hmm. Big business say you estimate it. Give me an actual bill. And you're charging me two million rands. And you're even now putting interest. And we've intensified disconnections, by the way. Sure. So, but how do you intensify these connections if you admittedly indicated that you may have charged people incorrectly? Does it mean they must be criminals? <laughs> I mean, you're just getting into our infrastructure and connect yourself. That's not allowed. Mm. Yes. So others, they do that. When they don't want to pay, they connect they themselves. Find another they call way. someone who we sometimes suspect are former service providers, mm. they or connect themselves, providers. or current service providers, or officials, mm. they get connected. And then, um, so if you come and disconnect and you put a 27,000 rand fine the first time, you go, they reconnect, you come back, you disconnect, then they start calling you. Ah, it's fine, can we talk? Ah. Yes, and then we've got even indigents that... You know, sometimes, so with indigent households, you, you obviously give them their allocation based. You would know, Ugo, Gupa, mm. with mm. Abazukulwa by two, eh. Mm. Then Ugo go builds the back room. Ah, and then, in he, and then she keeps quiet. On the second year, because it's not automatic, on the second year, you automatically get removed. You must reapply. Okay. When you visit, when I've been part of those verification. I bogogo. When did you? When, when did this happen? And so it happens that that in that same data's book, we've got indigents there that owe the city over seventy thousand rand. If you go to Soshanguve, it's notorious that side mm. because then they run their bill while we not expecting them to go beyond the allocation because we understand they can't pay. Then we disconnect them automatically that, okay, for you to access your your your, your thingy, sorry, the meter, mm. you must pay a certain amount. And yeah. it's a mess that side, which is why then they end up connecting the, themselves. Yes. We also have areas you would know where you will find there's a land, a, a mini NACP there, another mayor in that area that buys transformers, collect oh, 2,500 rand. Oh, and problem. everyone, so I'm saying, so people can pay. They just choose who to pay. But also if we don't give them prepaid meters, they won't pay us because we didn't give them a choice. No. We actually left them with one choice, which was that uh, Mayor Moya 2.0 day in some uh, informal <laughs> settlement collecting 2,500. What are you month. doing about those mayors? So those ones, that's where we then put in SAPs. Mm. Uh, we bring in the provincial community safety. We work with our TMPD. We do those operations in wee hours of the day. You wake up, the transformer has been destroyed. They retaliate with the rifles. 
Sure. So that operation, you don't just do it. You must know I'm going there now. And it has happened way like, in your in your hood there in my melody. Oh, no. oh, no. my, I didn't know there was a transformer in my hood. That's not supposed to be. No, there. The, in, but also I was asking, how much are these transformers? Yeah. And and listen, it's not only on the electricity side. Remember what happened in Ikaheng? Mm -hmm. Those connections, um, those connections to the reservoir, which mm. is we're oh, still yes, struggling to yes, recover yes. even now. It was people who had the expertise to connect themselves directly to the reservoir. Imagine that. If you go to the Mabopane Reservoir, so there's a, a, for a settlement that grew very quickly behind the reservoir. Mm -hmm. They connected themselves. The paying residents must take wheelbarrows to go and ask for water from them. I said, we can't. We can't. <laughs> no. Wow. So, so, so there's a lot of criminality as well. King King David Studio Podcast.